What's up guys, Anthony here and welcome to my live reaction and review for Black Clover chapter 252. Alright guys, so for the last two weeks, guys, sorry I haven't made any videos, just been really, really busy. I am up to date. Uh, we've got, a, from what I've seen for Black Clover, a lot of people were kind of iffy how everything went down, seeing that everyone literally got, like all of uh, Vanica's underlings got their ass handed to them. But, everything became apparently clear in the last week's chapter with Vanica basically saying, well... No, they're not done. They're going to keep coming back and again and again and again until you defeat me. All right? And then we end the chapter off with seeing all of them basically coming back. We have to go in again. We've got uh, Leo, Luck. Uh, who else was there? Oh, crap. I can't remember. But anyway, we have all of them. All right, bring it on. Let's go. And then we had Noel. And Mimosa going in on Vanica. Let's go, guys. Chapter 252. We are starting off with Water Creation Magic. Sea Dragon's Roar. An opening strike. Noel going in. She's already in Valkyrie mode. All right. Vanica's standing there. And we also know that Vanica, her demon or her devil is Magicula. The guy, the demon that basically caused so much issues in the previous arc. Alright. Okay. Blood magic. Crimson beast. Alright, so Vanica's going in. Looks like she's got blood magic. Alright. What was that snake just now? An attack. Alright, so she's like, Vanica's literally putting the world down like, yeah, you're not even worth my time. I love it. I love it. Vanica's, obviously, she's one of the top three. Alright, so she's, Expected to be insanely powerful. So, alright. So she's grabbed Noel. Oh, no, no. So this is like the tongue dude. He's like, yeah. So he's grabbed Noel. I'll be your opponent. And I don't know why I gave him a Yogi Bear accent. Oh, doesn't matter. Oh. Oh. I exceed Oh, Zomaha grass in the attack a while ago. Mimosa. Leave this frog to me. Two of you, the two of you, take care of the devil possessed. All right, so she's talking about, I'll, I'll take care of this guy, you take care of Vanica. All right? All right, what's going on here? I'm not sure what's actually happening there, but it looks like we've got that frog guy going, just spitting something out. We've got like a big, kind of like a barrier type thing coming out. Like, ah, so this is the, the grass and the seed area that he's got and exploded. It's like, Gah! it looks like it's cut him in half. Oh, I guess I'm just magic. Both of them are great. Okay. Blood magic and curse magic. As what Lola Petra mentioned, that bastard is. Okay, so Lola Petra is like, looks like she's in a bit of a daze. Hey, little badger, little badger. <laughs> Yikes. Sorry, I was investigating for a while. Anyway, the spades. Ah, you're right. Dark triads can use two elements of magic. Their own magic and the possessed devil magic. Okay. Panika and Megacula, we've already fought with those, with those two, so we can prepare a countermeasure and draw up a battle plan. Let's continue the lesson in preparation of that. So it looks like we've gone back in time a bit. Aha! Uh -huh. As expected from Lolo Pekka Chan. Alright, so it looks like Lolo Pekka, she's going in. We've got like the full water and everything going in. I wonder if Zenon and Big Brother Dante are having fun right now. So we know Dante went to the Clover Kingdom. And he was taken on Yami. Alright, so we know that. We don't know about Zenon. I think Zenon may have been the one going after Vengeance. But... I'll take the best one. He's not other than Lolo Pekachan. I can kill you too. All right, so she's getting excited. The world tree magic and dark magic looks fun, but it's tiring since we have to bring them back alive. <laughs> dark magic? What did you say right now? What are the other dark triads trying to do? All right, so she doesn't actually know. Huh? 
Why do I have to tell... Why do I have to tell you... Tell to a bastard like you? Huh? World tree magic. Dark magic. Okay. What's going on here? I'm kind of confused. I don't know who this is. So it looks like there's this lady. She's in a massive uh, kind of like library. Heart Kingdom's, prin Heart Kingdom's princesses inherit the power of the past princesses. Okay, so this is all the pet all the pet she's got past. You know what? Their experience and knowledge. The vast amount of information is the reason why they are called as an all-knowing maiden. Okay. Alright, so she's looking back. She's seeing everything with the elves. And, um, um, yeah, all the elves, the demons, everything. How could they do such a thing? Hello, Pikachu. If we let her... If we let her... Let the Dark Triads have their way. 90% of the people will die in this continent. And the world will collapse. Alright, so what she saw wasn't the past. That was actually the future of if the Dark Triads get their way. What? How can he do such a terrifying act? Humanity is also going to be ruined. I want to boil my blood with a, with a strong people who survived those. I don't care about the weak human who would just die. Okay. Well, let's not care about what's going to happen later. So enjoy the moment right now. I can't leave. These people have it. I can't leave. These people have it their way after all. Okay. So I think that's a bit of an iffy translation. So we got another package. She's gone in. So let us take them down here. The fate of the world. Mana Zone plus Array. Water Spirit Magic. Unevero Sphere is in our hands. So it looks like this is no world. She's unleashed a massive, massive attack here. She's like, huh? This area of water reduces the power of your blood magic by half. And. Valkyrie Dress. Mermaid Fall. Oh, she got a new form. Noelle's increases. and increases Noelle's son's magic power. We will not let anything, we will not let any single thing uh, go on your way anymore. So we've got Noelle in a full like mermaid thing. She looks amazing. She's going in on Vanica. So, uh -huh, not bad. All right. So it's like, looks like Vanica's actually bleeding a little bit, but she's kind of cheery. All right. And that is the end of chapter 252. Ooh, that's actually a really sick chapter, guys. But anyway, guys, just hang on a second. We'll get straight into the breakdown. Chapter 252 of Black Clover. Very much uh, action chapter. So, obviously, as we know, last week we found out that courtesy of Vanica's magic, all her underlings, as many times as you knock them down, they will keep coming back up. So, to knock them down, to keep them down, you need to defeat Vanica. Alright? We also got to see what Vanica's magic is. And we know that she, uh, her devil host is Magicure. So we know he has word magic as his curse magic. But her magic is blood magic. And we also know she is quite powerful. Because she's literally taking on Noel and Lolo Pekka. Alright. In this chapter we also found out what the Spade Kingdom's overall plan is. Obviously, we know through Dante that he wants to unleash demons, but we've seen basically what is going to happen. Basically, from what we've seen, I'm going to quickly go back up. 90% of the people will die in this continent. 
and the world will collapse. So out everyone, only 10% is going to survive. Why are they doing this? Vatican is like, well, I, I want to boil my blood with, a strong, with strong people who survive that. So basically she wants to be with someone who can survive in that situation. Right, which is kind of crazy, right? But leading up to that, basically our chapter starts off with Noelle going in with um, basically her first and opening strike of water creation magic, Sea Dragon's Roar. So she goes in unleashing a big attack right off the bat. She's already in Valkyrie form. So she's got the Valkyrie arm on. We saw that at the end of last week's chapter. Um... Vanica basically counters it with Blood Magic Crimson Beast, alright, and literally destroys her, um, Noelle's attack instantly. And it basically, like, seriously, what was that just, yeah, was that seriously an attack? Like, come on. Basically proving how powerful she is, All right? We then have Mimosa taking on this fat frog guy, uh, who basically seems like he uses his tongue uh, for his attacks and everything. Uh, and we got Mimosa pretty much going in on him and doing some massive damage on him. So she's using all her grass magic. Looks like she's no longer a support type. She can actually fight on her own, which is really cool. So we see her see, simply take this guy out, like literally kill him by cutting him right down the middle. But we see, obviously due to Vedic's magic, he just heals right up and their fight continues. Right? We end up then seeing Lola, Lola Pekcha, who is the heart priestess, and it's like, uh, hey, what's going on? And she was kind of looking out. So I think that at this point here, we are kind of a little bit... Yes, this is kind of in, in the past, this part here. And uh, basically, the, uh, her explained to Noelle, Mimosa, as well as Nero, uh, her information about the Dark Triads. And the Dark Triads can use two elements of magic as I mentioned before their own magic and the possessed devil's magic all right so that's why a lot of things is going on we end up going back into the fight and we see Lola Petra she's unleashed she is going in and then this is the part where Vanica basically I wonder if Xena and big brother Dante are having fun right now right referring to what happened in previous chapters with Dante going against Yami and I believe Xenon Taking on William Vengeance. Right? Obviously, Noelle, she has no idea what's going on. She's like, what's going on? Why? You know, what are you doing? What are you guys trying to accomplish? Da 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 da. And then, this is the part of the chapter where I got a little bit confused because we see a character that we never see before. It's like very much like regal in a massive, massive library. And this is where, and then a little bit further on, we find out, alright, this is all the picture. And the reason why they're known as All-Knowing Maiden is because they can uh, basically gain the knowledge of an experience and knowledge of previous priestesses. So all these books and everything are all the previous pr uh, priestesses, their knowledge, their experiences, everything like that. This is where we find out what the Dark Triad's plan is. Basically, to bring demons into the world as we already know and this is where we find out that 90% of the humans are going to die if they succeed right which is kind of crazy right after that we basically have uh, a lot of picture going all right I've had enough of this shit we're going in we have to take them down for the fate of the world so lot of picture unleashes a massive attack we don't see what the attack is uh, but then the very next part, we see Mana Zone plus Array, Water Spirit Magic, Unevro Sphere. We see this big magic sphere with this torrent of water going up. We see that Vatican is in there as well as Noel, uh, as well as a lot of picture. And the, what happens in this, thing, in this area is every, all of Vatican's magic is halved, right? Her strength has been cut into 50%, right? Which is crazy. But that's not all. Next, we see Noelle. She gets a brand new form 
it's Valkyrie dress, mermaid form. And due to this mana zone and everything, it also increases Noelle's magical power. Which we know Noelle is insanely powerful as it is. And then our chapter ends with Noelle going in and landing a massive hit with her water spear uh, on Vanica. Seemingly damaging Vanica. Because at the end, we see her kind of spitting out a little bit of blood. Still smiling. Uh -huh, not bad. And that is where our chapter ends, ladies and gentlemen. Damn good chapter. Absolutely we've got a brand new form for Mimosa. Not Mimosa. For Noel. Very revealing. Um, a very revealing one. But I don't mind. I actually really, really like it. I think it's really cool. Um, the art was solid. The magic that was used. Big ass spells. Uh, I'm really sh curious about Vanica, and obviously we know uh, Maggie Kula. Maggie Kula was the devil that they fought in the previous uh, main big arc, and he had word magic. I wonder if she's going to use word magic very soon. That's what I'm really, really looking forward to. Like, is she going to use that? How much of her power is she going to unleash? Um, I'm really curious about how this is all going to play out over the next uh, few weeks. But anyway, guys, overall, for this chapter, I'm going to give it four stars. Chapter Black Clover, chapter 252, he's getting four stars. Brilliant chapter. Absolutely loved it. Definitely worth it. Uh, Yuki Tabata is pulling out all the stops, guys. Absolute brilliant. Anyway, guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below. What did you guys think? Did you like it? Didn't like it? All that kind of jazz. And as always, guys, I'm Anthony. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.